Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 14th through the 20th of September, 2020. Now, Gemini, keep in mind, okay, that not everything is going to resonate, okay, or fit, so take what does and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? All right, Gemini, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Ooh, we've got the chariot. Very nice. I'll read this in just a moment. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Okay. We have travel. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do they need to know? 14th through the 20th of September 2020. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We are ready. Situation. Let me fix my chair here, you guys. <laughs> All right. There we go. Situation. We've got the two of swords. In your foundation, we have the king of pentacles. What's benefiting you this week is the knight of swords. Okay. Crowning. King of cups. And your outcome energy is the Hermit. All right. I like how these two kings are mirroring each other. Gemini, this is a very powerful uh, reading right here. Uh, some of you guys, it's time to go after what it is that you want. It's time to start that business. It's time to... Uh, design that website. It's time to get on a platform. It's time to go after that career that you desire. Okay? The chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. You got this. Alright, Gemini? You've got this. You know, you are going to be triumphant and you are going to be successful. Okay? If you've been procrastinating, it's time to it's time to make a move, you guys. Most definitely. Now we have travel coming up here. An upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. So, what I'm getting from this, okay, for whoever this particular message is for, you're going to be making a decision about moving, Gemini, for a. I feel like it is, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, okay? It's about a career, all right? You're going to really be making a lot of money, okay? This could also be a, a business partnership, okay? Two, two people coming together, all right? Maybe somebody is going to financially back you. Now we have the Two of Swords as your situation. The Two of Swords is that energy of, you know, feeling like you're at a crossroads. And, you know, most of the time when this comes up here, this talks about you already know the answer, most likely. You're just, you're hesitating. You're maybe not wanting to hurt somebody's feelings or maybe you don't want to argue. Maybe it's your wife, your husband, or your kids, especially if you're moving, right? And, you know... But you're going to have to eventually speak up, okay, unless you plan on letting this opportunity pass you by. And that's not a good idea, Gemini. I'm telling you, this opportunity, it is definitely, it was placed upon your path for a reason, okay? And that reason was for you to go after it, to take a hold of it. Once you, you know, put your foot down and make the choice, Make the decision, 
and you know that's when blocks are going to be lifted that's when you're going to come out of that energy of stagnation okay things are going to start unfolding for you in a positive powerful way So we have the Knight of Pentacles. I mean the King of Pentacles. Bless my heart. We have the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. Now this is whether you're male or female. Okay. This King is in the position of what's driving you. Okay. What's moving you forward. You're going after that money. Stability, security. This could be an entrepreneur type energy. This could be you, you know, partnering up with someone. You could be starting your own business. But I tell you what, there's a promise here of success, financial success. Okay? And this is what's got you up and going. So I see you taking that offer. What's benefiting you this week? Knight of Swords. There you are. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Right there. Okay? This is you standing in your truth and in your power. Using power with intent right here. You know what you want. And I feel like you're telling everybody, you know, hey, this is, you know, an amazing opportunity. It's one of those opportunities that I may never have again. Okay? Okay? And, you know, I feel like you're really, you're really telling people how you feel about it. You're letting them know that they're either with you or they're not, but you're going after it. Okay? This is something that you feel driven to do. And you know that this opportunity is meant for you. And you're willing to fight for it. You're willing to stand up to anybody, you know, that doesn't want to, you know, maybe move or want you to do it. You're not backing down right here. And then you have this amazing energy in your crowning position, okay? King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy right here. This is so powerful. This talks about how much wisdom and knowledge you hold within Gemini, okay? This is talks about you having emotional stability, all right? You have a connection with the spirit and the, you know, material realm, all right? You're very generous. You know, I feel like whatever is being offered here, this opportunity, it's definitely like you're going to be a boss, or you're going to be your own boss, okay? You could, like I said, this could be a partnership. Um, but if this is you getting a job for another company or business or corporation, you're definitely, you have a leadership type role, a position of authority right here, okay? And, you know, people, I feel like they are attracted to your energy, your vibration, and you help people. Some of you, you are definitely in, um, your, your career involves spiritual work, okay, or helping others along, you know, their path, their journey, whether it be a mental health worker, uh, a counselor, a teacher, you know, definitely in that position of, I feel like, humanitarian, helping others. All right, so now we have the hermit. The energy of Virgo coming through here is your outcome energy. You know, Gemini, this talks about going within, going into hermit mode, okay? Because this is where you're checking in with number one, checking in with uh, Gemini, checking in with your higher self. And this is what's allowing for you to know what direction you need to go in, which path you need to walk down, which door you need to walk through, okay? And it's also doing this all right this is what allows for you to have patience with yourself as well as your journey the process so much enlightenment has been gained 
within your situation, your set of circumstances. Remember the chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. You got this, Gemini. Okay? Alright, Gemini. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. You guys, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. Alright? I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.